we run back and drop in a bit? Uh, yeah, you can if you like. Just turn it down a bit. I mean, I, do, I didn't really make a specific mistake, but... Uh, turn it down. Yeah, I can't. My guitar's too loud. Yeah. Do you want to hear the other one? No. And every day the paper boy brings more. Hello, vinyl community. Welcome to another sound sample comparison. Today, as you can guess from the intro, I am doing the infamous Dark Side of the Moon. Now, you know, if you read a lot of internet forums, people have claims of their favorite pressings. And today, I'm going to do a six version shootout. Six different pressings. Now, I would love to own an original UK pressing, but uh, that's a bit out of the books for me. They're a bit too out of my price range. Uh, but I do have a US original. Well, I shouldn't say original because the original has a sticker here or a stamp here that says Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon, which was probably used for sales because people, when they first saw this in 73, they're like, okay, it's a prism uh, splitting white light into uh, the various uh, elements of the rainbow. So, this is probably a second uh, U.S. press, uh, but it is done by the infamous capital uh, mastering engineer, Wally Trogett. And uh, you will see that uh, Wally has a WLY, and that's how you know it's a Wally Trogett press. So when I plan to cover under a future Tales of the Dead Wax. But this will be the baseline for the other pressings to come. So, what else am I using for this comparison? Well, I have the MoFi version. And MoFi pressed this a couple of times. So, there was the ultra high quality version, which again, a little bit out of my press range. I do not have this. This happens to be a second press. How do I know it's a second press? Well, the top band here has an italic font. The very early pressing does not have an italic font, so that's how you know. Now this pressing was mastered by Stan Ricker, so you will see an SR over 2 on this one. What else do I got? I have the 2003 version. Now, 2003 version was done by Kevin Gray and it was also bought and done by Doug Sachs at Coherent Audio uh, which was located on the residence of RTI and there are a lot of people that claim hey this is the definitive version to go get uh, I do like this version very much uh, you will see the standard KG for Kevin Gray and this is one of the few that Doug actually put his initials in and you see Doug like I'm showing you here what else do, am I going to show you? So, I have the new Bernie Grunman version. Uh, Bernie Grunman, again, I suspect that this came from a digital source mastered by James Guthrie and Joel Plante. And uh, here's just a photo of those guys. You see the standard BG in the dead wax, and this one was done at uh, Record Industry. I have a, can a Canadian version. Uh, so I don't know who the mastering engineer is on this one. Uh, I do see what I think is a TGC in the dead wax. It looks like TLC, but I think it's TGC for the gramophone company. Uh, if any of you know, uh, please uh, drop me a line down below. Uh, but I thought it'd be fun to see how our Canadian friends up north stack up with the rest of the gang. Lastly, I have a 74 Japanese pressing. Uh, the Japanese uh, did a slew of Floyd reissues in the 70s. This just happens to be one of them. This is not the original Japanese press. The original Japanese press uh, looks like this. 
Now, how is this going to be done? Very similar to uh, my Led Zeppelin II shootout. Uh, I'm going to break up the, the sound samples into various segments. Uh, probably I'm going to be doing three different segments of the, the first side of the album. And I really want you to tell me um, how would you rate these. Um, I think you'll find small subtle differences uh, between them. Uh, to me it would be sacrilege if you totally screwed up the mastering on this album. Thankfully, you know, my personal opinion, I think all of these are, are relatively good. It, it's not like the Zeppelin II one that I did where you had the dramatic differences between some of the pressings, like the, the 69 remix of Zeppelin II, uh, not the Robert Ludwig version, was really screwed up, and everybody agreed. Yeah, everyone botched it. So I don't think you're going to find that uh, with Floyd. You know, I would be content with any of these guys. But I'm curious, how would you rack and stack them? Uh, shoot me a comment down below. I'm curious to see uh, what all of you think. Of course, okay, here's a disclaimer. Yes, YouTube is going to compress the audio some. Uh, but, you know, I try to use uh, 96 kilohertz 24-bit samples uh, for all of these. Uh, so... I'm trying to give you the best audio I can before YouTube will screw it up. So, can you hear a difference? Let me know. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.
Oh, oh, oh.